just for that purpose, where we have to speak up with others who won't speak. The great thing about women and women in leadership and women all over this world is that when an issue is important to us, we don't give up on that issue. We keep fighting and fighting because we know it's for the greater good, we know it's for the benefit of others, and we know we'll have a better society because we work that issue. Currently, the Senator and I are working on some very important legislation to reform the juvenile justice system that has 74% of the juvenile justice incarcerated young men, average age 16, are African Americans. Are African, 74%. And that's astounding, and change wouldn't happen if the senator did not take this up to champion that issue, and I'm happy to partner with her on the assembly side. It's also important that we recognize when things are important to us that we need to coalesce people. We need to take the time to reach out to people. One of the special gifts that women have, not only discernment, of course, to know right from wrong, but it's also to bring people together consensus building, pulling the right people to the table to get the job done. So the chairman is no dummy. He knows that when he engages our women, we're gonna move to the ground shakes to get that person elected, to raise those funds, to make that issue known. So we need all of you, not only to seek to run for elected office, to serve on boards and commissions, to give to this party, because this is our party. I always call it my club, my sorority. I'm not a member of any Greek organization, but I support them all the same women. You know that? <laughs> but this is my equivalent of sorority fraternity, because if we don't support the movement of this organization, then the movement of our agenda, the benefit of society does not move. We can't elect a female president, the first in this country. We can't elect a governor that's going to be reflective of our issues and concerns to move the state to better sound footing. Amen. So it takes all of us to continue to work together so that we make it move. And I will say this, when Congresswoman Bonnie Watson called me, we knew she was going to Washington, the women in the legislature, we were concerned because there was no other woman in leadership at the table. I did raise that issue not only with Chairman, but also with Speaker Prieto. And he was humbled, and I was humbled, that he thought it not robbery to select me to serve as conference leader, to sit at the table with four other men who are both sharp, intelligent, and compassionate. But you know it's a different compassion when